Hi, this is Daniel with Art Cyclery, and today I'm going to show you how to repair a damaged mountain bike chain. So your chain's been damaged out on the trail. You had a bad shift and some links got bent. So the first thing to do is to identify the bad ones. And it looks like uh, the damage is isolated to this area. So this link, this one, and this one are all going to have to go. So we'll start off by removing this pin. To make this next part easier, we're going to move the rear derailleur into the forward and locked position. So we're going to remove this pin. While this isn't a, uh, a type of chain tool that you would actually use out on the trail, I'm just using a shop grade tool so that you can see that this is the process that you'd go through and you can see more what I'm doing. So we're going to push this pin all the way out on this end. There we go. All right, so now we need to get to the other end. So we'll just check one more time, and we need to have the end that we took off match the end that we're going to create. So this is where the good chain starts again. Now in this scenario, um, let's say that you don't have another master link to put into the chain. So we need to preserve this pin that we're pushing out so that we can reuse it to put it back together. So what we're going to do is we're only going to push the pin out most of the way, but not all of the way. So you want to really keep an eye on it as that pin is being pushed out. And you can kind of feel what's going on too. If you're not sure, just stop, back it out and see. Then we can check and see, no, need to get a little bit more out. Throw that in there and just put in another turn. Back it off. You can flex the chain slightly to remove this inner part. And it's good to have just a little stub sticking out in there so that it'll help hold the chain together a little bit better when we go to push it back together. All right, so we're gonna take this little tool that we made to help hold the chain together while we work on it. So it needs to be oriented top down so that we can get the chain tool on at the bottom. So now we're going to need to go around the back side of the bike so that we can get the chain tool onto here. So now we're going to push this pin in and uh, just carefully start turning it. Make sure that it's going in straight. It's really easy for these ones to not go in straight when they don't have a guide pin built in. So you can do this with any chain, whether it's a Shimano or a SRAM. Now once you get the pin to about that point, you can go ahead and remove this uh, little homemade tool so that you can see what you're doing a little bit better. Because now the chain's going to hold together. All right, so start pushing that pin in some more and you want to make sure that the chain stays as straight as possible. And there we go, I felt it get through that other link. Just keep an eye on it. And let's see if it's in there. All right, it's in there, but it's not in far enough. So we just want to make sure that the chain is moving as freely as possible. And push it in just a little further. Let me see it's flush on this end. It's flush on that end. And so what we're going to need to do is because this isn't right, it's super, super stiff. It's not going to be able to make it through without getting hung up. So what we have to do now is kind of flex the chain and get it back where it needs to go. So kind of push on it side to side, kind of bend it just a little bit and see now it's loosened up. It's not perfect, but it's good enough to get you home. If you have any questions on this, email us at info at or just give us a call. 